Hello everyone, I'm Sean, alright, and this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today we've got an energy drink, it's called Flight. Now this is a natural energy drink. It's an energy drink I had never seen before, but apparently it's been out for a couple of years. You know, I went on Google, found, found a few things from a couple of years ago. It's got 76 milligrams of caffeine in the can versus the usual 80 that we'd expect to see in a 250 mil can. So that's near enough. Um, I, I picked these up at Approved Food. I think one was £1 and one was £1.19. So they weren't cheap even from there. And that, that's a discount store. You know, it's, it's, it's like a, an online home bargains or something. Um, they looks like they're from... Austria, made in Austria, and they are 100% vegan and non-GMO, they've got natural sweeteners, organic caffeine from green coffee, 100% from natural sources, so all of those keywords there are making me think it's it's going to be another one like uh, Tenzing or the Dr. Schechter's stuff, you know, it's, uh, my, my expectations are low. However, I did read that this red berry flavour one has 25% fruit juice and this green mango one has 20% fruit juice. Monster Ripper has 20% fruit juice. So I thought there's potential there. There is potential there for, for these to be good. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll start with the green mango one. What I do like about these, these cans are a bit battered coming from approved food you know it's a a um like i say it's a discount store so it's it's going to be seconds and stuff near their expiration date so I, I don't mind them being battered they were still one pound and one pound 19 for them so you know at, at that price i might expect them to be in better condition but I, I really like the style of the cans matte black got black around the top i think i think the cans themselves are beautiful so Whatever else I might say about them, I do have some positive things to say. So this is green mango flavour. It smells very strange. It smells earthy and sweet, you know, like mango, but there's also a sort of savoury smell there. It's very unusual. Cheers. As the natural energy drinks go, it's not bad. I'm not sure what that that savoury sort of smell is that's coming through. It's got Himalayan pink salt in it. it does have colouring in, but it's a natural colouring. I don't know if just the, the salt is coming through as savoury or... You know, it says green mango, but it's got grape, passion fruit, lemon, and lime juice in it. Those are the juices in it. I don't know why they call it green mango. Um, overall, I'd say I'm not a fan. It, it's got a very strange taste going on to it. In it. Um, this one actually isn't even past the expiration date. This expires at the end of November, so it shouldn't even be that. You know, I mean, the, the things in the cans are usually fine past their expiration date anyway, but, you know, it's a very strange savoury smell and savoury taste going on. Yeah, we'll, tr we'll, try, we'll try the red berry one. Oh, this smells a lot stronger. It smells of berries as soon as I open it. So in terms of juice, this one has in it strawberry, raspberry, grape, lemon and lime. So, but strawberry and raspberry instead of passion fruit. But it's still got grape, lemon and lime. That smells sweet. That's, that smells nice and sweet. And it sm smells mostly of strawberry, which is, it is the, the primary fruit in there. Assuming the ingredients are listed 
in order of quantity. Cheers. Yeah, that's, that's much better. It, it is much better. It, it tastes like a, a red berry drink. It does suffer from the problem that a lot of the natural drinks suffer from. It's, it's very thin tasting. There's flavour there, but it's not really punchy. It's, it's very thin. It's not very sweet. I don't think the carbonation does it any favours. I think if, if it was uncarbonated and you could taste the flavours better because they'd come through they're not fighting against the carbonation I think it'd do a lot better and that that I think is, is my problem with a lot of these drinks they have something that's a natural energy drink caffeine from natural sources you know a bit of fruit juice some antioxidants maca sh shizandra I don't know what those things are I don't know if, if they would contribute to the um, savoury taste in the other one you've got B vitamins you know it's 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 all good stuff it's all stuff you'd, you'd want to see in an energy drink but then they think they think it's an energy drink we need to compete with Red Bull so we'll stick it in a 250ml can we'll charge over a pound for it and we'll make it fizzy if this was a pound, if this was less than a pound, and it wasn't fizzy, it'd be much more compelling, just like the Tenzing. If that was less than a pound, and it wasn't fizzy, if that was still, like a tea, or something, I think that the Tenzing we said it'd be better if it was like an iced tea. It'd be a much more compelling option, but instead, they're just, they're, they're not making an energy drink, and they're making it natural. They're making something natural and then making it worse by making it fizzy and putting it in a little can. And I think that's my problem with a lot of energy drinks. And if you've seen my video on my friend Gina's Tenacious Tea, I'll put a link up here, then you, you'll you'll know my, my feelings about that. Uh, she does a blend with uh, guarana and hibiscus and, you know... She's not got green coffee, has got guarana as the source of caffeine, but you know, it's it's still as natural as any of these, but it's not got sweeteners in, and it's not carbonated, and it's not got sugar in, and you know, if, if you want to make it sweet, you can do, but it's just, it's tea. You can make it and have it cold if you want, but it's just tea. It's not trying to be just a worse energy drink like these are. It's, it's an energy drink on its own merits based on what's in it you know at the end of the day it's tea but it's got a few things in there mainly the guarana but also the go-to cola and the hibiscus you know that, that make it a bit more comparable because the, the go-to cola is considered a, a nootropic um, the hibiscus has got the antioxidants like you see in in sneak and G Fuel you see a list of antioxidants and natural extracts and stuff um, but this is just, you know, they made it fizzy and put it in a can and made it worse. But that, that tea, it's tea with other natural stuff in it. But it's still tea. You know, you could quite easily put some uh, stevia in that and make it fizzy and put it in a can, but it, it wouldn't hold up. As it is, with a bit of sweetener, it tastes lovely. But those flavours aren't strong enough to come through carbonation. They can't cut through carbonation. That's why you see drinks like Red Bull and Monster with such intense flavours and such a large amount of sugar. Because the flavour needs to come through that carbonation, because otherwise it just tastes like sparkling water. And that's, that's not nice. I don't know anyone who just drinks sparkling water. I know there's people out there who do drink it. And those people might like this. But for me, as an energy drink, this, this isn't going to ever replace anything. You know, if I want something that's natural and, you know, a bit more easygoing and laid back compared to a big kind of monster or 
a jug of G fuel. Go and get that tea from Gina because that's it's just an energy drink on its own merits. It's not saying it's an energy drink though, it's saying it's a tea. But in my eyes, I can use that to substitute an energy drink. This is telling you it's an energy drink. And it would be a good substitute if it wasn't trying to be like the other energy drinks. You're different to other energy drinks. Lean into that. Don't make it fizzy in these little 250ml cans and end up just being worse. But I do see the point of it. I, I do get that people are going to want natural alternatives, but like I say, that, that, that there are other things out there that just aren't worse versions of existing energy drinks. It's not the fact that it's natural and stuff that's made it worse. It's the fact that it's... Well, I suppose it is in a sense because there's things that they can't put in there that they need to put in there if they're going to taste good with the carbonation. But honestly, just do it without the carbonation. There's lots of people out there who are really missing the, the Rockstar and Monster iced teas that they used to do. You come out with an energy iced tea that's all natural, natural sweeteners, natural flavours, natural caffeine put that in a 500 mil can with the same amount of caffeine as monster that's what we would drink that's that's what would tempt us away from monster and stuff not this not not in my opinion anyway um yeah can design's beautiful though Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't like to be so negative, but I, I feel quite quite strongly about that. I, I, I keep I keep hoping that one of these is going to change my mind. And I'll, I looked at these cans and thought it could be this one. It's got more juice in it than Monster Ripper. That could be a good thing, but it's it's not as as to be fair. In all honesty, this red berry one is probably. One of, if not the best, all natural energy drink that I've had. You know, in terms of things that are carbonated in a can. But I still don't think it's quite good enough. If if it was, if it was still, you know, some some sort of iced tea style thing, I think that that'd be the way to go with these. Um, but yeah, let, let, let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried these and you disagree. I've got a feeling there are going to be a lot of people who disagree with me there. Um, but yeah, that's the, the video is just my own opinion. If, if you disagree and you, you do drink these sorts of things, that's fine. I, I know there's people out there who drink them because I've had comments on the other videos on the, the natural energy drinks where, where they say, you know, I, I, I like this and, and that's great. That's great, but for in terms of myself and other people that are already into other energy drinks, I can't see this changing anything. But that's 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 just me. But th thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers.